So I graduated two weeks ago with a degree in biomedical engineering and given that a portion of my viewers are interested in things related to BME, I thought that I would make a video talking about my degree, the classes I took, and the experiences that I had. Before I start, there are two things I want to mention. The first one is that Brown is a liberal arts school, not an engineering or tech focused school. And so their approach to studying engineering is more holistic, where students are encouraged to take classes from multiple disciplines as part of their degree. The second point I want to uh, clarify beforehand is that I chose to study BME with the mindset that I would be entering medical school after graduation. And this might be slightly different from other people's interests. So here it goes with all eight semesters of my BME degree and stay till the end for my final takeaways on the whole process. First semester freshman year, I took a biology seminar. It was taught by a chair in the biology department here at Brown. I remember it was pretty chill, mostly composed of guest lectures. Nothing much to say about that. The second class was inorganic chemistry. I remember this class was pretty rough because I didn't have a very strong chemistry background from high school. I didn't take AP Chem and the last time I took Chem before this class was 10th grade. The course did touch upon some high school chemistry but also added a lot of theoretical components such as particle in the box. I don't remember too much from that class because it was almost four years ago, pretty much four years ago, and I didn't really use anything I learned in that class since. The third class I took was the Intro to Engineering course. I remember this class was pretty poorly taught and disorganized. The professor kind of just made up the curriculum as we went along, albeit a very smart guy, very nice guy, but just probably not the best person to teach an intro to engineering course for undergrads. That being said though, I did learn how to use SOLIDWORKS, how to program in MATLAB, and we did a few labs uh, that were more hands-on in the Brown Design Workshop. And then in terms of the curriculum, everything was pretty much just basic mechanics uh, stuff from high school physics. The last class I took that semester was an anthropology course called Culture and Health, uh, basically introduction to healthcare anthropology, talked about the placebo effect, the power and symbols of medicine, and the validity of alternative medicines. Not too intensive of a class, I enjoyed it, it was interesting. Okay, moving on to freshman spring. This semester, I decided I want to challenge myself, so I took five classes, and this is what my schedule looks like. Starting from the top, we have organic chemistry. I honestly don't remember too much from this class. However, I do remember we did some nomenclature, some organic structures, and we had to memorize mechanisms for reactions. The next two classes are standard math classes that every engineering concentrator has to take, and they are multivariable calculus and differential equations. I did end up using a lot of the concepts and things I learned from these two classes in later engineering courses, and uh, I thought it was pretty manageable besides the fact that there were just a ton of P-sets and exams during that semester. The next course I took was Dynamics and Vibrations. This is the second half of the intro engineering sequence. I think this is one of the best courses I have taken at Brown and this is mostly because the professor was just phenomenal. Like you can tell that he cared a lot about his students and he was very passionate about the material. In terms of the curriculum, it was still mechanics, but it was more applied in a way where the curriculum actually made sense. You got to apply the concepts in labs such as a predator-prey simulation or a quadcopter, which was our final project. And I definitely learned a ton from that class. The last class I took this semester was astronomy. Just a fun class. I remember it being full of seniors who I guess wanted an easy class. And I don't remember too much from the lectures, but I do remember going onto the top of the engineering building at night to look at stars. So let's move on to sophomore fall, third semester. Obviously I didn't learn anything from the previous semester. So I decided to take five classes again. And this is what my schedule looked like. Physics, uh, not physics, statistics and physiology are self-explanatory. Both are big prerequisite courses for STEM majors, meaning that there are over 200 students in the class, many concentrating in different things. Professors were good, but not much opportunity for student-professor interaction. And 
Yeah, not much to say about that. Biomaterials focus on quantifying the mechanical and biological characteristics of medical devices, such as stents or implants. We read a lot of research papers, did problem sets, had a lab. I thought it was an interesting course, given that I was interested in orthopedics at the time, still am to some degree. Next class is fluid mechanics, where we modeled fluid behavior using the Navier-Stokes equation. We had some labs which are pretty cool. My last class was a fun class called Design Plus Health. It was a interdisciplinary course where students from Brown, RISD, the design school, and Brown's medical school come together and take this class. We had talks from experts in the field of medical design, and we also worked on our own design project for the final grade. I don't remember what our project was. I think it was an app or something. We also got the chance to visit a local med tech design company, which was pretty cool. Very chill class, and I think it was a nice break from all of the heavy STEM that I've been taking. Sophomore spring, okay. Uh, this is when COVID hit, I remember. That's, that's when it started. First class, thermodynamics. I think the only lab we ended up doing in person was an engine lab, where we ran this old uh, two-cylinder engine in the design workshop and recorded parameters to calculate different characteristics of the engine's performance. And then our final project was designing a power plant, but we had to do this remote. So this is just performing calculations in MATLAB. Pretty boring stuff. I think the class was different from other engineering courses I've taken. Not always intuitive, which I guess made it harder. Next up is electrical circuits. So this is building circuits, solving them. We had Laplace transformations. We learned about op amps. We had Fourier transforms. I remember the labs for this class took like 12 hours to finish. Pretty hard class, I would say. One of the harder engineering courses. I'm not sure if I would use much of what I learned in the class, but this is a theme amongst a lot of these classes, as you might imagine. I also took Chinese that semester. This class went every day. I really enjoyed it. I think every college student who is remotely interested in language should consider taking a language class in college. And that brings us to biomechanics. I decided to take four classes this semester instead of five because I was kind of burned out from the previous semester. This is one of my favorite classes. Professor was very good, very passionate. I feel like I combined a lot of different things I had learned in the past, different like math formulas or methods of analysis into specific biomedical applications. So for example, we were using a stress matrix to represent the stresses on a bone. We were using ODE to model uh, the spread of a drug or the behavior of a tissue, things like that. Like I mentioned before, this is the semester when COVID hit. So I started all my classes in person and ended them online. The transition was pretty difficult. I think I primarily missed the social aspect of being in college, obviously, which I'm sure a lot of other people did as well. And my summer plans, which were to do research abroad, were canceled. And that brings us to semester two of COVID, junior fall. And we will start with drug and gene delivery, taught by Edith Mathiewicz, a professor who worked under Robert Langer, who you might know as one of the co-founders of Moderna, along with, I don't know, like a dozen other biotech companies very accomplished professor, obviously. Class was very unorganized, however, and I wasn't sure how I was gonna be graded for the class until the last month or so. As for the content, we went over different methods of drug delivery, we read a ton of papers, we had to write our final research paper for our final grade. The next class is education, intro to human development. Um, so this is about like child development. A lot of overlap with concepts from AP Psych, which I took in high school, but then you supplement that more with, I don't, okay, I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying, like, okay, next class, next class. Immunology, one of the intro courses for biology majors, your classic bio stuff. I need this for my pre-med requirements and for my major. Exercise physiology and Chinese were my fun classes. Junior spring, four classes this time, taking it more chill. Biochem, another major requirement for pre-meds. Biotransport processes. This class we were discussing how 
we can use mathematical models to characterize how drugs spread in the body. So I remember it was kind of reminiscent of fluid mechanics. Uh, there's a ton of ordinary differential equations that we had to use. And I think a lot of the upper level engineering courses I took here were kind of just multivariable calculus or differential equations apply to different scenarios. You do a little uh, work with the, ma the math and then uh, you get this new equation to model some physical phenomenon. We also had a couple of take-home labs where we were basically just given data to manipulate because we couldn't actually do anything in person in the lab, which was unfortunate but understandable given the circumstances. The next class I took this semester was healthcare in the US, probably one of the largest classes I've taken. Enrollment was over 400 students and the lectures were actually not live, they were recorded. So I was just watching recorded lectures for the entirety of the semester. That being said though, it was a pretty useful course for someone who wants to go into healthcare. We learned about the payer system, about insurance, about the different stakeholders in the healthcare system. And finally, urban studies. I remember one of my academic advisors scolding me for not taking enough humanities. So here we are pretty good class, chill professor who was passionate about the material. We had to write a few papers and had discussions about urban structures and how they influence society, human behavior, and culture. Okay, I'm sorry. If it seems like I don't remember the details of the classes I took, it's because I probably don't remember the details because these classes were all online and senior fall. I remember at this point in time, I couldn't believe I was already a senior. It seemed like the time in quarantine just flew by and I didn't expect to be back in person so soon. The first in-person class this semester was instrumentation design, one of the last requirements from an engineering degree, almost purely a lab class. Labs consisted of a lot of breadboarding and uh, we did a lot of lab view, which is a visual programming language. I did learn quite a bit from this class even though I'm not sure if I would ever use LabVIEW again. I think the main takeaway from this class was to not give up when things get really confusing. This semester I also took the first half of the biomedical engineering capstone course and this class centers around identifying and trying to solve an existing problem in the medical space. So at the beginning of the semester we have physicians from Rhode Island Hospital come in and present to us problems that they see in their workspace. And then we are split up into teams to try to solve these problems. I thought this class was semi-interesting at first, but gradually I began to realize that there was a lot of busy work. Like we were being assigned assignments on topics that were maybe remotely related to what our problem was about, but we weren't spending enough time actually trying to solve the problem, which honestly is what I was primarily interested in. And I'm sure a lot of the students in the class we're also interested in that. We didn't want to do like a write-up or a deep dive or a homework assignments on some topic that they were trying to teach us. We'd rather just try to work on the product. But anyways, that was that. The next class was analytical modeling. I thought this was a pretty interesting class. It was taught by the same professor who taught biomechanics. We learned about statistical tests, SIR models, and about viscoelasticity. We read a lot of papers, had discussions on said papers, we had exams, and we had a final project. I thought it was a pretty cool class. The last class I took this semester was a seminar for students in Brown's eight-year medical program, the PLEMI. The curriculum was a lot about diversity and representation content, along with some study strategies for medical school and managing the transition and choosing a medical specialty. And finally, we are at the end, senior spring. At this point, I'm pretty tired and burned out from taking classes, so I opted to take a lighter course schedule. I took the second half of the BME capstone, which is kind of a continuation of the previous semester but we finalized our project and we had a presentation on it. The next class I took was social psychology. Honestly, most of the stuff I learned in this class, I probably could have picked up by reading a textbook, but it was still useful content, interesting. So I think it was okay. This semester, I also did research with a professor for credit and I also took a class on research methods. So this covered basic statistical methods, the process of publication and uh, things of that nature, how to succeed in research. Very chill, very low key, 
I liked it, perfect for senior spring. And that's it for my entire biomedical engineering degree. I don't know how long that took. So if you watched all the way to the end, I will give my overall takeaways and conclusions on this whole process. The first takeaway is a cliche, and it is the fact that my most meaningful learning experiences happened outside of the classroom. And this occurred through internships or research experiences or just reading a book where I was inherently interested in the material and I sought out knowledge for my own sake, not for a grade or anything like that, but just just for my own sake, just because I was interested. And I feel like under those conditions is when I learned the best. The second takeaway is that obviously I don't remember too much of the details for my courses, right? And asking a lot of my friends who took the same classes as me, it seems like they're also kind of on the same boat. But I think uh, when you study engineering, the, the main things that you learn are obviously problem solving, critical thinking, those you carry with you through whatever you do, right? So maybe it's not about the details, maybe it is more about the mindset that you gain from pushing through all these difficult courses, these labs that take over 10 hours, and you learn something from that about work ethic, about your confidence when approaching problems. Uh, the third takeaway is that if my end goal was to do something that was engineering related, not medicine related, I probably would have opted for a school that was more engineering focused. But given my interests, my end goal is still to become a physician, I think that the program that I chose here at Brown was pretty ideal for me. And finally, even though I do have some qualms about some of the courses I took, I think that overall I am satisfied with my undergraduate learning experience. So that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. I hope that was helpful and bye.